What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. It takes easier because it takes me to play these games, and we're back. Sorry for the long hiatus. Huh. I said hiatus. Hiatus. I'm gonna say hiatus. I think I said it right. But uh, I've been busy with school. I was working for the past three weeks. I was tired, and you know, I decided, you know, whenever I get the chance, I'm just gonna record. And now here we are. I think you guys remember from the last time we were playing. I just talked to the dude about fine Felicia, cause I did come in as a beggar though. I'm kind of dirty. I ain't gonna lie. Is that a pit stain? But nah. I talked to him. He told me where to go, and now I gotta change my clothes, cause I look like a homeless man. Sherlock must sometimes wear disguise to proceed with the investigation. When evidence in the casebook is marked with this. When access is blocked by someone who doesn't look like your look. When making inquiries, but pass. Yeah, I already know this. What the hell did that come from? Oh, I'm pressing up on the D-pad. Duh. Where is my drill? Wait, I gotta, I gotta address the police officer. I forgot. I'm supposed to be a cop. Hold on now. My, my face, my face, my face. Cleanly? There we go. Uh, The worst clothes at the best price. What was I doing? Oh, here we go, here we go. So join the police. Yeah, but... Didn't I find her? Okay, let's go for it now. Where's the base behind me? Yeah, I gotta read the, uh, that's right. I had to read the, uh, the powder kegger, the uh, kegger dude's base. That's right. What's going on, buddy? He's a man. So it is further down the street, bro. Come on now. Okay, right here. Here you go, now we got some action. Finally, it's been nothing but investigations. I'm coming for you. Come on, bro. Ah! Oh my god! Ah, I forgot to fight! I'm coming. Circle. Tap it. Mm, give me that knee. Too simple. Oh, I take cover. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Ah, god damn it. Where's my pocket sand, bro? Uh, give me that hat. Yep, I'm on you. I'm coming. Yep. <laughs> no more ass. crime for you until next month. Come on, what's up? What's up? What's up? Ooh, not today. That is hilarious. Ah, bastard. God damn! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna jump. The snuff's ready. Ooh. We can overcome them. God damn it. Pocket sand! <laughs> mm, baby, come on, catch his hands. Stop. Don't cry. Get him. Uh, hold on, he's out of, he's out of it. I couldn't miss the God damn it, Shuri! What am I supposed to shoot? Oh. How am I supposed to get behind this man? Dodge this! What? I'm coming. How for am you. I supposed to get behind this goofy ass? I'm about to get stabbed. He doesn't have anything. It's on his back. That's. How am I supposed to get on his back? Is there a... Okay, there's a roll button. All right, what's up? Nope, not today. Come on, got him. <laughs> this is goof. How am I supposed to get behind him? Okay, okay, okay. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, um. I can't even shoot it. Did I get it? Got it. Okay, there Give we go. Give him the pepper snuff. So I shoot them. Oh, oh. bitch. No more crime for you until your next knee, month. Bastard. The snuff's ready. No. Pocket sand. <laughs> I couldn't miss the party. Oh, get back in it, bro. Don't cry, you'll live. Back up, bro. Oh my god, he's on my ass. 
<laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on. Nope, that's today. Got him. You're lying. I didn't even do anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh! Nope. Oh, it's on your chest. There you go. Look how goofy I am. I just slapped the shit out of this man. <laughs> I gave him a little. Stop it. Eat lead. Bro, forget you. Got him. <laughs> just a straight face the whole time. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. I got Pakistan. Come here. Wait. Ah, damn it! Reload, shot, reload. Bro, I can't, I can't aim. Reload, damn. Here we go. Time to knock and this guy out. And then baby. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Oh my god! Y'all saw that slap though, right? Okay, okay, I give up. There I give up. Is. Now, if I didn't tell the powder kangers that they weren't getting attacked, bro, she would have died. And here we are, Miss Sevigny. A place where we can talk about all your recent activities. We have a nice profile on you, you know. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Is there nothing you didn't do, Miss Sevigny? Thieve for the gang, break into the Armour Capello office, kill Niccolo Detti? I, what? Kill? I didn't Damn. kill nobody. No disrespect, no, but you I, look raggedy. How? So you admit the rest. I suppose you went through with your life story. I need to, to know. She got a scar on her cheek. Oh my god, what happened? Oh. Double sided jacket? What's that supposed to mean? Strange locket. Okay. Oh! From the little the, the cat markers from the last video. Strange locket, hidden side, double sided jacket, cat claw marks on leg. Is a burglar thief in the mid 20s or claw marks on her torn trosso? Le torn trouser leg from when she clumsily fed the scene of the crime at Armour Capello. She has locked that. She has a locket that conceals a lockpick. Don't judge me, please. Her jacket is double sided for a quick disguise. She's proud of her trade and is showing it off, but only to train eye. What? It's a burglar thief in the mid 20s. There are claw marks on her torn trouser. Uh, same. She has a locket that conceals a lockpick. No, because I found her lockpicks. Only to the train eye. Has got to be. You were in the Armour Capello office yesterday evening, Miss Sevigny. The same place that Niccolo Detti was found dead today. What happened? How would you know? You can't prove anything. It's written all over you, Miss Sevigny. I presume you did not intend your evening to end with a fall over the railing and a fracas with felines. Need I continue? I. Oh, zut alors. Ooh, your it was just a job, nothing else. I was asked to come. Here, see for yourself. I don't know who hired me, but I think they wanted to pin the crime on me. Poor Niccolo. Wait a minute. When were you? So you're a side piece too? Ah, mon dieu. Um, I don't remember precisely. I, I think the letter arrived around nine thirty in the evening. It sounded tricky, but the money was good. And you arrived at the office. Perhaps forty-five minutes later. I am very good, sir. I was in and out in five minutes. I don't mm. like lies. No, no, wait. Um, okay. It took 15 minutes. All right? Still impressive, no? That is impressive. I ain't gonna you lie. You knew Mr. Detti. How? Nicolo and I grew up together. I hadn't seen him in years, then ran into him on the street. 
smiling with some lovely lady on his arm. Oh, I knew it. And that was the last time you saw him She's alive. cheating Wait. on her Until husband. I found him dead yesterday. That same woman was there, too. It can't be coincidence. Come on, man. You saw a woman in the office? Mm-hmm. She started screaming, so I slammed the safe door and ran when I saw a guard coming. Your mm. thieving days may well be over, Miss Sevigny. Until this matter is resolved, you will remain here. Good day. Man, I called it. Augusta is sleeping with Daddy. We're sleeping with Daddy, and I think the husband called her in. What a long day. Called her in so, so that when she opened the safe, she would see the dead body. And then Augusta will walk in and see it. So the husband murdered the man, but he framed the thief. Bro, I'm smart. I'm smart. Stop it. I'm, I'm a fucking genius, bro. Okay, here's the letter. Miss Savane, I'm in need of urgent assistance from someone master of the Burgundy Arts. You're going to enter the Armory Capello office at 1015 via the back door. I believe it opened for you. You are then next to proceed next door to a large aircraft safe. That is your target. You must have it open as fast as possible. Do not take anything from the office. Leave that the safe is open. The compensation for job will be more than generous. A down payment is attached. Mm. 9 a.m. Wait, what? Opens the safe, sees Nicola. Oh, she saw him dead inside. And then she slammed it shut. So Augusta didn't know the body was in there. She screamed at uh, 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 Savane. Oh my God. Okay, 10 a.m., okay. Gus arrives at 3 p.m. I'm thinking she was going up to meet Detty, but still leaves and goes home at 6.30 though. So between six, the, between three o'clock and 10, 15, he was already dead inside the body. I mean, the body was already dead. So it's either Basillo or Billy that killed that man. Oh my God. This is getting tasty. Where am I going? Where are you, Miss Like? I got your ass. I got. I forgot this. Ooh, I got you. There's no way Billy would do that, bro. He talks too much. I'm afraid I have nothing to add to this. I'm afraid I have nothing bro, to add no to way. this. Ain't no way. Another question. Ain't no way you don't Not know. Not much to say. I'm sorry. Mr. Capello, have you anything to say about the burglar's claims? Not a whit. The woman is a liar and a criminal. I don't give it the slightest credence, and neither should you. Someone killed him. It's either Billy or him. What do I, what do I gotta do now? Doesn't trust what Felicia has to say. Yeah. Let me talk to the wife. What exactly was your relationship with Niccolo Detti? I knew it. Who? What are you talking Don't lie, you were sleeping Madam with that Queen, man. He was dicking you down nice from the back, front, and artist. from the side. Your marriage to Basilio could not have offered all you needed. <laughs> and then about six months ago, you met Niccolo Detti. There was a spark, you started to see each other. It brought passion back into your life. How? I called it. Could you? I fucking called it, bro. Didn't go unnoticed. I called it Finish and asked you to stop it. I know Nicola, what I'm but doing. Cease your affair. You took care to avoid the public eye. You started working with your husband at the office and met your lover there in the evening after Basilio departed. Billy would not notice, and you hoped neither would your husband. Come on. Do man. I have this right so far? I. Yes. I love Basilio. I truly do. Mm. But his first passion is his work. I, I respect that, but it left me adrift. Yeah, I think I spilled some Niccolo. juice on my shirt. Oh, sweet Niccolo. He was the man I needed. If he had had any other name, I... I would have talked to Basilio. But he was a daddy. But he was a daddy. And your husband suspected something. 
I... I think he did. He asked questions. Billy's schedule was moved forwards here. Yes. Yes, he suspected. Mm. And thus we arrive at the heart of the matter. How did Mr. Detty end up deceased in the safe? I... I do not know. Madam? I don't know anything about his death. Are you sure this is how you wish to proceed? It is the truth. Please, just leave me be. Mmm. Lawful neutral? Every suspect in the safe murder is a police officer. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> this case is believed to have been solved. Police are not an outsider, though I did enjoy myself. Okay, she refused to talk further about the nine to close death. Yeah, I knew it. I knew she was cheating on that man. Now let me go talk to the husband. Hey yo man! Basilo, your oh, wife will suck in some other man's penis. <laughs> I'm terrible. I don't care. Let's see. Were you aware of this, Mr. Capello? Of the relationship between your wife and Niccolo Detti? Uh, enough! I will not hear it! Augusta is an impressionable woman feeling the stress of this horrible situation. She does not understand what she's saying. I see. So you think... I think that if you want to help, you should stop bothering my wife and find the criminal responsible. Hmm. I will return. I don't know. I want to accuse him, bro, because it's all pointing towards him. He has a motive. But then again, I need to see what was his body looking like. Let me see the body again. Okay. Facial expression, see, no says officiation. Yeah, he was foaming at the mouth. Light intoxication, most likely from wine. Okay. Bruises and torn on his seam self inflicted. Bloody trails and faint scratching on the safe door. Blunt thrown to the left side of the head. Unclear whether the blow was delivered before or after entering the safe. It's not fully buttoned. No, because he had to bend with Augusta. And the reason why she screamed. No, because the wine glass was hitting underneath the table. And Augusta was working late. Mm. You know what? No, no, no. I got, I, got, I got another theory. So listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Okay. So him and Augusta, right? They're having a thing. He was starting to unbutton, right? Have him sipping on some wine. Then she starts thinking about us and Basilio. She's like, oh, fuck. He's about to figure this shit out. He suspected. And she's like, yes, he suspected. And so she grabbed something and bop that thing in the head, right? He drops. She grabs him, throws him in the safe. And he's, he's knocked out. He doesn't know he's in the safe. He's knocked out. And then when he wakes up no no no. she knocks him out throws him in the safe that's when the thief chick comes opens the safe and sees niccolo in there and i guess he's already dead at that point because he he already suffocated he's even putting up post because uh i think he, he had to wake up he had to have woken up after augusta left the house i mean left the, the top office and went downstairs to talk with billy and that's when we start clawing on the safe door, and that's when Felicia opens the damn safe and sees him in there dead. And then that's when Augusta comes back. She's like, oh my god, she fucking found the dead body. That's when Felicia slams it and dips out. Bro, come on, man. He's even I, I got this shit, bro. Ain't no way. If if I'm not right, bro, I don't know what I do. What what I did. I don't know. I don't know. I'm staring like a motherfucker. Cause I'm I feel like I'm right. I feel like I'm fucking right. I'm putting up posters. But I need to talk to Billy one more time. Let me talk to Billy. I'm gonna talk to Billy and then I'm gonna cue somebody. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Excuse me, sorry. But come on, y'all feel me? Are y'all feeling me on this, bro? Come on, man. It's clear as day. It's clear as day. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, my sneeze. Because I don't know how Billy fits in. I think he was just a guard whose schedule was just pushed forward. He was just there. And the husband's the only one that can change the locks. Oh, um, actually, no. Um, I, I know of it, but forgot. I, I know of it. Oh, oh, here you go. But forgot. Oh, um, actually. Wait, did I talk to him no. about the evidence? No, I don't think I did. Oh, um, actually, no. No, I don't want to know. Could this be the burglar you saw yesterday? That's her. So what's our plan? How do we get her? If you can afford to give me 20 minutes, my uncle has a large net. Yes, yes. This man, um, Billy, Annette. is ready to go. I'll go bro. and get one now, Billy, and you stay to guard the office. Okay, so he knows that's her. I don't need to talk to anybody anymore, unless I do need to. No, I need to talk to uh, Felicia about the uh, secret. That's who I need to talk to. Okay, let me talk to Felicia. Whoa, this is getting juicy. This is getting juicy. He's Augusta, you ain't shit. And don't y'all give me that button. He was good. He was off at work. She was lonely. I don't give a fuck. She still cheated. She should have talked to her husband about it. And then after she talked to her husband and he didn't say shit, well then, shit, free reign, girl, go do what you gotta do to get your nut. Okay, Felicia's in the holding cell. No. Wait, is it this one? I'm surprised none of the officers are like, yo, who are you and when did you start working here? Where the hell is she? It is a shame it has come to this, but it is patently obvious that you are responsible for Niccolo Detti's death. Oh, how dare you? I wouldn't want him to. I I see you need some persuasion. Mm. I know that Niccolo Detti went to the office to meet you. Let's see. Oh, shit, I got, I got a piece together my damn self. Okay, um. What was the window opportunity? It was when he went to go meet her. Where's the time? Where's the time? Where's the time? Where's the time? Ooh, I got you. It was a midnight tryst. Niccolo would visit the office once Basilio left, but this time he returned. So you hid Niccolo in the safe. A foolish move. I didn't know the code had changed. Ooh. This was the only choice. I, I couldn't let him be found. I Ooh, I called it. You could have saved his life by simply speaking with your husband, but you sought to free him another way. Ooh. Okay, okay. Um. Fuck. What were the means of the crime? The burial there. I'm worried she's high behind that client. Hmm. It was when she fucking said, uh, I was hired. Where's the letter? Where's the letter? Yes. To free Mr. Detty, you hired Felicia Sevenier, a petty burglar, to crack the safe. And as a result, you killed your lover. No. I. It's because. Uh, I called her on it, but my theory was off by a little hairs, bit. Mrs. Capello, the fact remains you chose to risk Niccolo's life rather than call your husband. And I know why. Oh, okay, okay. I was right about her putting putting him in the safe, but she did not knock him out. She hit him in the safe because Basil was coming back. Wait, did I say that? I said that shit in the first one, bro. In the past video, I said that. I said she hit him in the safe because Basil came back and she forgot about him. But instead, she actually called Felicia to free him. So she didn't say, fuck it, he's dead. She said, oh my God, hurry up and get here. This nigga about to die. Oh my God. Okay, what was the motive?
Uh, let's see, what was a moto? Hmm. Uh, what was the motive? Damn it, what was the motive? Ah, fuck, I can't find the motive. What was the motive? Damn, I don't know what the motive is. No, was it just because they were just in a flame together? Isn't that it? Wait here, I need a moment to think. Okay. It is a shame it has come to this, but it is patently obvious that no, you okay. are responsible. So I, I gotta start over again. The winter opportunity was the time. Where's the time? Where's the time? Where's the time? Where's the time? It was a midnight tryst. Nicolo okay. would visit the office. We already once know this. We already know this. We already know this. And then what was the means of the crime? Which was this? To free Mr. Detty, you hired Felicia Sevenier, a petty burglar okay, to crack this the this one more time. And as a result, you killed your lover. No. I... Mm -hmm. It's because the combination had changed. It is not my fault. You are splitting hairs, Mrs. Capello. The fact remains you chose to risk Niccolo's life rather than call your husband. And I know why. Why did she risk his life instead of calling her husband? Fears that her husband said and believes he changed Billy's work to suspect him. No, that's not good enough. Um, that has nothing to do with it, nothing to do with it. Ear to ground. Nope, it's not it. Several so recent entries. First to meet with the detective. Uh no. Tougher chat because my poor client me weren't sure about your desires so well. You seemed happy about it, which is why I did not bring it up previously, but perhaps best we have a conversation. Ooh, is that is it the note? No. No fuck. Uh oh the lawyer's letter. You were afraid how it would affect the reputation of the Capellos. And you feared what your husband yep. would do as a consequence. It's... I... He's a good man, but... Oh! He cares about his business. About the family. It would have destroyed him. And now he's accused detective. of murder, Mrs. Capello. How considerate of you. i detective. Mio Dio, how did this all happen? Can't fix this. You're guilty. Despite your best intentions, Mrs. Capello, I believe you are to blame for this sorry affair, not Basilio. I... I think you're right, sir. Basilio, he... he does not deserve Oh, because this. you wanted some no, young yes. dick, bro! It's not my place to decide what is deserved, but perhaps you now know what to say to the inspector. I do. Good day, madam. Mm. I don't think Mrs. Capello did Fucking detective! Purpose. I would have let her go. John, shut up, bro. I'm about the truth, baby. I don't give a hell about what you're talking about. Accidental murder or not, that man is dead. He's fucking dead. God damn it. All right. What do I gotta do now? That, that was it. That was it for that one. Okay, that was, that was a good side one to do. Okay, let's go back to the main story. Okay, what do I gotta do now? Memory blooming trees, a palm, and a cozy gazebo. The doors. Okay, so I need to go back to my mansion. Bro, ooh, I'm such a good fucking detective. It takes me, baby. This is why this channel is called It Takes He's CJ. He's even been putting up posters. Poor man. Let me put on my clothes. Oh my god, man.
All right. Go back to my family home. I am, man. I am so happy right now. Bro, I got that shit first fucking try. That door should be behind here. Yep, John's standing right in front of it too. Sherry, Sherry, please listen to me. Sherry. John, I always listen to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. John knows know what really happened. I don't know this door, but I can feel it buzzing, angry like a fly at the window. I know. I can sense it too. You locked away this memory for a reason. There is only pain here. Pain? And... What you hiding from me, John? You do not need to suffer either. There is so much more we can do on Cordona. So many others we can help. There is no coming back from this. Let's see. I have to finish this. I will return later. I have to finish this. John, my anima, my brother, there is nothing more important in this moment than this truth. I know you fear for me, but my path was set long ago. I can no more step off it than I can ask the avalanche to roll back uphill. Just please be careful. Sherry, I love you. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. Ugh, brothers to the day they die. Even though he's my imaginary friend. Y'all better not end it right here. Y'all better not end it right here. Okay, thank God. I was about to be pissed. Why didn't I remember we had such a big garden? Maybe you forgot it for your own good. I spent my childhood in Stonewood Manor and I'm starting to remember flashes of my time here. The house is now abandoned but restoring the rooms now. The hell they were may bring the memories back to life. My mind palace seems to have seemed into the real world and is preventing access to some rooms. I think I'll be able to get- oh wait, okay, okay, this is all. The door to the garden is finally unlocked and answers to all my questions await. That's the descendant of a tree your father planted in London, correct? Indeed, we planted the sprout here, and for a while it grew happily. Alas, it seems without us here to care for it, it didn't survive. That's fucked. Okay. So am I supposed to walk around? I can't even run. I gotta walk. Ah yes. The statue of Merope. My mother was trying to restore it. Pity she never had the opportunity to finish. Yeah, because someone killed my mom. Ah, oh, man, what is the truth? Who killed my mom and what happened? It says she was in... No, she started at the gazebo, so we go to the gazebo first. Yeah, this is where it started, I think. Okay, what was that? Okay, I guess I just gotta go to the pond. Oh man, please don't tell me it's something messed up, bro. You okay, John? Is that the raft we made together, John? Looks more like a pile of rotten planks now. <gasps> My mom. Mother? Oh, snap's getting dark. Ooh, we. A broken teacup. Was she poisoned? That's from Mother's favorite tea set. What is it doing in here? What's going on, Sherry? Oh, snap, first person? <gasps> I'm a little Sherlock. Come here, Sherry. Hurry. What's going on, John? Damn, John, you are ugly, bro. You're an ugly child. Potassium bromide. These must help calm her down. Or maybe slowly kill her or make her insane. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? Let me see my mind palace. Uh, oh. 
Dr. Richter experimented my mom with unconventional drugs to treat me every dose at risk of side effects. My mom you said it was freaking so her body must have built a tolerance. It wouldn't be a danger to her. I feel like it was side effects. Mother had an unexpected allergic reaction to the medication and she suffocated? Fuck that. Increased tolerance. That makes more sense to me. There's no way she can be Korean and then come to the fucking pond. What are you pond. thinking about? Is everything all right? No, everything is not all right. God, I'm still confused on what's going on. Did Richter really kill my mother? Don't go, mother. Wait. Bro, I'm at the edge of my seat right now. I'm just scooting up little by little, bro. This is getting good. I remember this artifact from Mother's collection. Hmm. Mother's work journal. I liked poring over the detailed pages and reading about my parents' collection. This man has a fantastic memory. <sighs> John? Oh, this is the room. Here it is. If you'll just borrow it for a while. This is what started it. Someone's coming. Let's take a peek. Here we're right here. You call this progress? Short. Amateur. I'm not letting you anywhere near my mother again. Any result is progress, even if it is a worsening of her condition. It informs my... No. I have made my decision. She must be sent to a legitimate medical facility. I will not let her hurt, Sherlock. What? Master Holmes, you do not understand. That will be all. I expect you to have left the house by week's end. Mm. Sherry, say something. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Sherry, say something. Sherlock, I'm here. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. I'm sorry, John. I gotta find the truth Sherry, out, bro. Come here, darling. I'm coming, Mum. Were you really crazy? Was it the medicine? Sherlock, I'm coming, Mother. What made you do the thing? This was for my mother, wasn't it? I remember how we came to the garden for a breath of fresh air. I don't believe she was going crazy. There's no way. Take me to my flowers, Sherry. They must already be in bloom. As you wish, Mo. And I still can't see your face. I bet you missed the fresh air, didn't you? Terribly. The sun is far brighter than I remember. But I like it. We can walk each day from now on. If you want, that would be wonderful. Richard, what are you doing to my mom? Just look at them. The stars of the earth. Even the sky must be jealous of their beauty. Indeed. Man, this is getting, this is getting... Mother, would you like to go around the water? That would be perfect. I always wanted such a nice pond in London. It looks so peaceful. <gasps> Mycroft knew you would like it. Did she drown because of me? We should put some fish in it, don't you think? How about some carp? That's a nice idea. <gasps> Did she fall into the water because I was taking her out for a walk and she fell in? And because I couldn't swim, Let's I couldn't save her? Tree. Oh my it god. Goes so fast. Please tell me that's not true. We could even build a tree house in it. <laughs> yes, Sherry. Oh my gosh. Speaking of your father, could you call him out, please? Mom. He's 
I'm sorry. He passed away. He's gone. No, he's not. I'm telling the truth. Did you forget again? No. Don't you dare say such things. Damn. You are a liar like all the others. Mother. Don't call me that. You're fooling me. No. Mommy hurts. My son would never lie. Oh, my God. Mom, stop. Who are you? Reveal yourself. Please. So she really was going crazy. It's me. Oh shit, she was drowning me. Oh my god. Oh, this is fucked. Oh my god, she 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 killed me. Oh wait, no, she didn't kill me, I'm alive. Mycroft shot her? Oh my god, the plot just gets thicker and thicker. I am loving this! Ain't no way. Oh my god, it's here in the garden. Mother tried to drown me in the pond at Stonewood Manor. She didn't drown. Ooh. John and I are responsible. My mother died from allergic reaction after we gave her sedatives with her morning tea. Otto Richter tried to save Violet, yet Mycroft deliberately blamed him for her death, despite John and I being responsible. I killed my mother without knowing the idea to give her sedatives came from John, which means I cannot trust my own mind. He and myself, I must get rid of John. Mycroft hid the truth to protect me. Oh my god. I am responsible for my mother's death. It was my idea to give her medica medication, which caused an allergic reaction that killed her. It's my guilt. Mycroft hid the truth to protect me. Ooh, what's the other one? What's the other one? Increased tolerance. Someone drowned my mother either by accident or on purpose. Because there's still more clues. There's still more clues. There's still more clues. After Mycroft caught Otto Richter, he blamed him for our mother's death. My mother, Violet, drowned, was drowned by Otto Richter. Mycroft accused him of murder, but it's unclear if Otto, Otto killed her deliberately. Trying to save me, the drowning was an accident. You let me try to trick me to save her. Mycroft had the truth to protect me and wrongly accused Otto. Yep, it was it was all an accident. Yep. That makes a lot more sense. She had a fucked Sherlock. up mind. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Uh, all these different choices, man. I wonder what the other one said. Sherry, you knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. Otto Richter murdered my mother, and Mycroft covered it up. Whisked me away from this place, buried me in schoolwork, and... And left the past to rot. And you needed a way to cope. So I helped. You were a lie, John. A fiction. A crutch. No. I was... I was a friend. Here's Mycroft walking out. Sherlock. Please. Sherlock. What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he, he here? here? I think... In his own way, he was trying to protect me. John's glitching out. The truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. What the fuck? 
John? Shut up. What are you doing? You... You kept me in the dark and kept your actions quiet. You enabled Richter and his untested quackery for far too long. And worse, you wanted to lock up our mother. I wanted to give you a chance at normalcy. Uh. Childhood. There was no changing what happened. No good to come of dwelling in the past. It was lies upon lies. Otto Richter was trying to save her, but you decided he deserved to take the fall. Is that justice? The big picture, Sherlock. The big picture. Perhaps Richter was not responsible for her fit of rage, but his treatment led inexorably to that moment. Ooh. He's not lying. He's not lying. You were so fragile. I could not... I, I just couldn't. I chose us. He was just trying him. to protect his family. Best way he could. You know... For once, I believe you. Perhaps now that the truth is out, I can actually do what you had hoped. Leave it all in the past. Good. You have your whole life ahead of you, Sherlock. It is time you got on with it. Well, damn, Mycroft. Can we have a hug? Can I get a hug, bro? I just, I just figured out all my... Can I get a hug, bro? I was worried there for a minute, Sherry. Mm. Really worried. I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> What's so funny? I am talking to myself, John. I think I was hurt regardless. But we made a good team, eh? Hmm. Explored every inch of this place together. Helped a lot of people. Terrorized a few too, I suppose. I think I may go so far as to say, Sherry, that I have not lived... Wait, John, are you about to go? Life. So that's it. It's over. You've opened every door, Sherry. Faced the past, you locked away. You don't need me anymore. I know. But I will miss you all the same. I don't want you to go. Oh shit, he's for the fame? You do. Goodbye, John. Damn, now I'm all alone? Fuck me. I didn't need that. I just said goodbye to one of the greatest friends I'll ever have. Even though I told him he, he got on my nerves sometimes. My man John was still there for me. Even though he wasn't me. My mom was 40 when she died. Here comes Why this you fucking here? weirdo. Closure, I suppose. And to help a friend. You and I are not friends. In a race between the thawing of the ice caps and our friendship, I would buy a boat. Ha! Is that right? I can see it now. I know what you did. What did I do? You... You needled me. From the moment we met, you were searching for weakness. You pushed me to pursue the truth about my mother. You questioned everything I did, everything I believed to... To break me. To blur truth and fiction, reality, morality. A saboteur in silk. Mm. Was it vengeance, Werner? Or do you prefer Klaus? <gasps> Excuse me? You are Klaus Richter, Otto's younger brother. Do you hold me responsible for his end? Pa! There was no love lost between me and my brother. Oh, I sure you knew he was a, Otto was I knew he was fucking crazy, bro. Your orbit, or you into mine. Once I met you, I could not keep I away. I told y'all he was going to be my fucking Moriarty. What reason do you have for all this? To help you. You're lying. To show you that you were wrong. More lies. I know you now, Werner. Try again. To see what had happened. Or is that yet another untruth? 
Does it matter? Take your pick. Who cares? You're my masterpiece. I turned Sisyphus into Ozymandias. You could not see the futility of your quest until I helped you to let Bro, go of the rock. Bro, why are you so close? Back now, up! Nothing beside remains. I remain. Despite you and to spite you. It is a matter of will and power now. Will you overcome this or shall you decay? Oh, on that note, I brought you something. I want nothing more from you. When one wants for nothing, Sherlock, the best thing to get them is something personal. So, here you are. Now, please excuse me, but the gallery calls. I'm already conceiving my next project. See, he, he was making all the plots. He is my Moriarty. Look at the L reference from uh You by really Gunga. are beautiful. Would that picture have changed if I just changed my decisions in the story? I wonder. My brother returned to London soon after our disagreement. He enrolled at Cambridge University but attends only the rare classes that hold his interest. I hear he took employment at a hospital laboratory obsessing over his experiments. I suppose he seeks solace in the empirical truth of a chemical test. I am afraid for him. His evenings are spent alone, solving citizens' menial mysteries to pass the time. And I suspect he is growing paranoid. One of my agent's vehicles recently ignited during a surveillance operation. She was lucky to get out alive. There is only one man who could orchestrate such a feat. Or perhaps two. I saved my brother. He will never forgive me. Ooh. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I found it. I found it. I found it. And what is that? What the fuck? Ain't no way, bro. How far, um, bruises may be produced after death. How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Uh, never mind. The, um, the question now is about bruising. No doubt you see the significance of this discovery of mine. Uh, it is interesting, no doubt, but practically... Uh... Why, it is the most practical medico-legal discovery for years. Had we these data sooner, hundreds of men would have paid the penalty for their crimes. Cases oft hinge upon how a man died. Now, we can know which wounds he suffered alive, which occurred post-mortem, and what instrument was responsible. And ergo... One will soon be able to calculate with utmost precision when and where death occurred, sparing the innocent and damning the guilty. Bro, why did I oh, go crazy? Then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. I, I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings and heard you were complaining that you could get no one to go halves with you. I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street, which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. My last companion and I... Well, I object to rouse because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours, <laughs> and I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well, but those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rouse? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. A badly played one. Oh, oh no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, Bro, uh, forgive my is manners. Is this my, my fucking John? Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. Oh! Let's fucking go! I met the real John. 
And that sets up for chapter two. Uh, okay. God damn, y'all did a fire job. This story was this story was amazing. I don't care what anyone says. I love this story. I had no idea where this was going. I had no idea. My mom was trying to murder me. I thought I killed her. No fucking way. Uh, I don't know what to say. Like, how do you explain this? And my thoughts, I think, because of what happened with Mycroft and fucking Sherlock figuring out the truth, he started going deeper and deeper into his mind. His paranoia, his whole, his whole thinking a lot more like he does in the stories and the books and the movies that we see him now when he's older. This was the foundation for him to become like that. What we're seeing now is the formation and the buildup to what we know as Sherlock Holmes nowadays. This is his origin story, basically. And then the dude, Werner? I told y'all throughout this entire series, I did not like that man. I was not feeling him, bro. He had, he was sus. I didn't feel his, I wasn't feeling the, the vibes he was coming up. I can't believe I just said that, but man, I just didn't have a good feeling about this man. And then they answered it. This man was an op since the beginning. When he did the little, uh, I'm like, bro, there ain't no way I could fuck with you after that one. Everything I said I didn't like about you was ten, was multiplied by 10 when he did that little, uh, bro, fuck out of here. Man. I wanted to drag the after story that 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 pissed me off and that's it okay well i hope you guys enjoyed me on this journey of sherlock holmes um i honestly enjoyed it it was sad seeing john leave but i guess that was just a transition into them bringing in dr john watson the real life one so with that i'm gonna see you guys in the next video tomorrow i hope you guys like this one oh the next, the next video, it's going to be on Tormented Souls. I'm going to start that playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you like and subscribe. Help me grow this channel so we can do more of these. I'll see you.